good morning and happy Wednesday you guys. So today I'm back with what will be the last instalment of the Walt Disney World planning series. I know, I know it's very sad, but to be honest there's nothing really else that I can tell you guys about planning, you know, for your holiday because I think I've pretty much covered everything. I've done like tickets, bus passes, hotels, dining plans, Pretty much everything. So today I'm going to be focusing on how I actually plan out my days. Now this is very sad. I'm going to just get that out of the way right now. Very, very sad because I do do spreadsheets guys. I think it is the easiest way for you to kind of plan out what you want to do so that you don't get anything uh, mixed up or lost or anything and so that you can kind of do everything that you want to do because I do normally do a spreadsheet but I've been with people in the past who have just not really been into the whole planning thing and not been into the whole spreadsheet thing. And the second you say, hey, I've made a spreadsheet, it's kind of like, I'm not doing that. So, yeah, people like me who love to plan, it, it, it kind of, it messes us up a bit, guys, to be fair, it does. So anyway, I'm going to show you my really, really sad spreadsheet skills because why not, eh? So basically... The first thing that we book is our dining. I think I said that during the whole dining like discussion and what have you, but it is the first thing that we book because me and all of my friends and my family are foodies. We love our food. Like honestly, it's like, I say it all the time, but food is more or less my spirit animal. Like I'm not even lying about it. So we do tend to plan our meals first. So to begin with, what I usually do, I'm gonna show you, it's color coded in purple. I do color code them for different years in different colors. So like I did blue, um, I think the year before, and then I did a rainbow one the year before that. Anyway, you know, I color code. So anyway, I tend to do something like this. So I have all the dates written along the top. This is obviously from our trip last year because I mean, I don't need to print out a new one, right? I'm not going. So I have all of our days and what have you, and I'll have like our credits and everything. And then I'll put in what restaurant we're eating at and the time that I've booked it for and how many credits that it takes. Because that is a really good way of, of basically keeping track of your credits. So the top one here is obviously the quick service. Now the quick service, we don't plan too much to be fair, which is why it says not planned currently. Um, on it or, or it will say get something on the hop because it just depends where we are to be honest but if there are certain places that we really want to have a counter service meal like Earl of Sandwich for example that I put up on there then I will factor it in and put Earl of Sandwich but apart from that I do tend to keep the counter service things pretty loose and pretty fluid because to be honest you don't want to plan absolutely everything I have friends who have planned in like toilet breaks like, honest to God, it's that bad that they'll be like, at 11.07am, we will go for a toilet break. No, I don't know about you, but I'm not Sheldon Cooper, so I can't be planning in when I need to be going. So, I'm not that bad. I'm really not that bad. If that's something you want to do, if if you've got certain toiletry, toileting, should I say, toileting um, ways of doing things, I don't know, needs, I don't know. If If that's your thing crack on I'm not taking the mick but for me it's just that it's a little bit it's a bit too anal I'm sorry it really is so anyway getting back to this so I'll do the quick service but obviously the table service which is the one down there hopefully it will focus I will put in obviously where we're going and what have you now it's very rare that we don't actually plan um a, a table service because we need to I do also put things in here like at Universal not used so that I know that that's a credit that will be used on a different day because obviously at Universal we're not going to use them because it's not Disney um, and then I'll have an end of the week this is how cool it is look end of the week credit usage and I will tell myself how many credits we have left if any I mean usually we don't but clearly on this one we did um, so it will tell me everything to do with that and then I'll do the second week one which is obviously the week underneath here so that's the second week um, a lot of our table services well lots of things weren't actually planned for some unknown reason on this draft very odd hmm. but yeah and then I'll have um, this box here which says overall credits used 
and it will have like the overall credit score and everything for both weeks so that way i can plan in so for example if we're going to universal for two days we're going to have two extra credits so i might put that towards a two credit table service like the boathouse or cinderella's royal table or i would say well okay we're going to have two table service credits for that day like we'll have a table service lunch and a table service dinner i try my best not to do that to be honest because i have a very small appetite which i think i've mentioned before during the dining discussion and uh, i do tend to get very very full so i can't really be doing two proper sit down meals a day i only barely eat twice a day at home to be honest so i don't have breakfast I have a very small lunch and then I have my evening meal. So for me, I can't get away with two table service meals. But that's what I do first. So I note down all the places we want to go to. So for example, for this, um, let's have a look. So table service, I put Cape May Cafe breakfast, Plaza restaurant dinner, which we never ended up doing actually, because we looked at the menu for the Plaza and then decided that we didn't really fancy it. Um, currently not planned, Crystal Palace dinner, we always go to Crystal Palace because it's amazing and I love it, Sci-Fi Diner, um, which is a table service, we had four families come in whilst we were dining, um, and thought it was a quick service, and it wasn't, and they had, they were kind of told to leave before ordering, which is good that they caught them before they ordered, but, you know, that's a whole different story anyway. Uh, Ohana's character breakfast, uh, what else, Boathouse dinner, Whispering Canyon cafe lunch, which was hilarious, I love it, I would totally go back and I completely recommend it guys, um, and then that's it kind of for that, because I think this was the first draft, it was the only one that I could actually find to hand to show you, and then we go on to the super sad stuff, now I do amend these, like we lock in our dinner reservations and we'll lock in what park we're going to, that's fine but i can amend it and change it like i think one day we were meant to go to hollywood studios we ended up going to magic kingdom instead uh but we did go and have our uh lunch reservation at hollywood studios and then we left and went to magic kingdom so it's that kind of thing but again i have columns for days guys so along the top i will have what day of the week it is like you know Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, all that good stuff, and I will have the date, and then, oh, I'm not showing this very well, and then I'll plan everything in, that's just kind of a snapshot really, um, so for example, let's just read one of them shall we, so on Friday the 30th of September last year, uh, it was a day at Magic Kingdom, I noted down that Magic Kingdom shut at 7pm for Mickey's Not So Scary, it's always, always good for you to note down the park opening hours on these as well, just for you to refer to, just in case, you know, we've had people who tried to refuse to leave even though it was a party night and they had to be ejected from the park and then they were kind of complaining that they hadn't been warned and it was just a whole big debacle, I've got stories for days guys, like, I always seem to come across people who just don't know what they're doing and we always seem to be in the right place at the right time for all these scandalous weird things that happen. I've got Disney story for days but we'll, we'll get into that maybe another time. But anyway, so it closed at 7pm, I've put lunch at Be Our Guest because, please, uh, dinner at Cosmic Rays or Earl of Sandwich, I believe we actually, because it was an evening at Disney Springs, we decided we did actually have the Earl of Sandwich and not the Cosmic Rays. So, again, I'll put that in, you know, and I, I sort of plan stuff in. Uh, what was the next one? Yeah, so for example, uh, Saturday the 1st of October, uh, day at Animal Kingdom, lunch at Flame Tree Barbecue, which we never ended up doing because we ended up getting the elephant ear pastries from Christafari. Yeah. Uh, so we had that for breakfast and then we had the afternoon tea at the Grand Floridian booked at 2pm so I made a note of when we had to leave the park. So my notes say leave no later than 1pm just so it gave us an hour to get there even though you know it was simple like we just literally had to get on a Grand Floridian bus. I always like to be early and you can look around the resort rather than being late and missing your reservation. So there was that and then I've put Walmart or uh well, no, I put Walmart and Rivers of Light, but of course Rivers of Light didn't happen in the end. Sad times. 
and I put all movies on the beach. We didn't end up doing either. I remember this day very well. We left Walmart to torrential rain and we had a massive thunderstorm and that was when I was filming. We were on the balcony drinking that horrible like neon blue Fanta soda stuff and oh god it was possibly one of my favourite days of the vacation but I remember we ended up staying in our room eating birthday cake ordering pizza um from the marketplace we didn't get a room service and uh, watching the Lion King because that's how we roll but yeah okay so I, I put sort of everything in there um, I've also put in Mickey's Not So Scary Halloween Party in there, I've put uh, Trader Sam's Grog Grotto, not on the same day obviously, these are all on different days and what have you, but yeah I more or less just kind of note down what we're doing and where we're going, well, obviously I can switch things around like I say. Now we moved to the Hard Rock Hotel on the 6th of October but obviously that's when Hurricane Matthew hit, so we didn't end up going to Universal, uh, we came home on the 7th when we were actually meant to be in Universal and when I say came home I meant back to our Disney Resort so we had two days stuck in um, and then Saturday the 8th we had breakfast booked at 1900 Park Fair which again I would a hundred percent recommend I love that place the food was delicious the characters were amazing the ambiance is just out of this world um, and then at 8 30 we meant to go to Blizzard Beach but obviously we decided to swap that for a Universal day because of the whole hurricane thing and we've missed out on Universal and that's when we ended up actually doing our Halloween Horror Nights because they comped our tickets. So we had a little bit of a shift around, you know, not going to lie, had a bit of a shift around. But on the whole, like, I do find this helps me to kind of get everything sorted. I can't actually see what I'm showing you. But yeah, I just have everything sort of sorted and in there and what have you. And it's just something to refer to because the amount of times that we were in the room and Emma would be like, where are we going tomorrow? And I'd be like, hang on, get the folder out. Oh, we're off to uh, Ohana's. <laughs> you know what I mean? I, I would just like, I would tell them where we were going and she it was good to always refer back or she would be like, what time's our horse riding booked for? And I'll be like, hang on. Yeah. Yeah, source riding, 10.30 at Fort Wilderness, you know? So again, we would kind of refer to this the night before so that we knew what we were doing. Obviously, I did, on the updated version of this, put all our fast passes on there, just so that I knew roughly when we needed to go. But again, I do have it on the app, so that's not really a problem. I could just log onto the app, and I did change a couple of them, and it's fine. It's all good. It's just handy to have a visual representation of it, sort of to hand, rather than having to flick through the app, I find. So I tend to have that. I also tend to take a ledger with me that has lots of awesome information in it that I, that I hand write because I'm sad, right? So I also have a ledger that has um, the hotel address and telephone number in it. I have the US, like embassy kind of information i have all my travel insurance information in it and everything all the numbers that i need to call the references that i need anything like that that i might need in an emergency i usually write down all of the medical centers that are nearby dental practices anything that we might need any 24-hour um, pharmacies and stuff like that in case we need anything like that i do tend to write everything down i even write down like taxi fares like, because you can go on the Mears website and you can actually calculate taxi fares. So sometimes I'll write that down and say, oh, hey, it's going to cost us this much to get to wherever, Walmart. We don't tend to do that now. We tend to use Uber. So that's not really too much of a problem because the Uber app tells you before you book it how much it's going to cost. So that's neither here nor there. Uber, I would totally recommend. Loved Uber. thought it was amazing. Like, any opportunity we got to use an Uber, we used an Uber. Come now. So yeah, I think that's everything that I can kind of tell you about planning. It's pretty straightforward. Just honestly sit there and have fun with it. Don't be so rigorous with it that you've got a plan in every single ride. As long as you've got your three fast passes, that's all that really matters, to be honest. Don't sit there and say, well, we've got these three fast passes and then at, you know, at 10.07, we're going to go and uh, ride Buzz Lightyear Space Ranger spin and then that will take approximately four minutes to ride and 
you know just don't don't do that you're really not going to have too much fun if you do things like that just note down the big stuff so things like your dining your fast passes maybe note down anything if you really really want to do it like for example we've never done the um jungle cruise never never got around to doing it so i made a note of it i was like well i didn't want to do jungle cruise so i made a note and it triggered my memory because when i looked at our plans i was like ah oh, yes jungle cruise we need to do jungle cruise so just things like that just make nice little side notes and stuff don't feel too bad if you do have to change anything or maybe someone gets ill in your party maybe you're tired and you want to go back to the resort don't feel like you have to go hard or go home because honestly you will really really regret it it just won't be a holiday then it will be so much stress and constantly trying to fit stuff in and getting blistered feet and i mean i am the patron saint of blistered feet i'm not even joking my feet are made out of like lamb like skin i'm sure i don't know something soft but then, like i get blisters like no one's business so always take a first aid kit with you as well that's always good for planning i usually take a first aid kit the fact that i have like you know tracheotomy kits and stuff of course that's completely irrelevant don't worry that's my over planning don't just get out of that zone but yeah that's all i can really tell you i'm afraid so just go with the flow, plan in anything that is your must do. Even if it's something silly like, you know what, I must visit Memento Mori and pick up a load of stuff from Haunted Mansion. <laughs> said, said, said no one in our party, I mean, come on. <laughs> yeah, anyway, so that's all I can tell you. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, then please do go ahead and hit that big thumbs up button for me because... You know, everybody needs to be told that they're awesome every so often. You know, just every so often. Um, anyway, yeah. So, if you haven't already subscribed and you feel like you'd like to, then do go ahead and hit that big red subscribe button for me. Makes me all warm and fuzzy inside. And until the next time, guys, I'm going to check you later. So, check ya!